Hello, and welcome to your video on tutorial for the neuroadrenal panel through neuroscience. I'm Dr. Starr, and this is Nourish TV. So, your nourish doctor may have ordered a neuroadrenal panel for you, and oftentimes we order these panels to look at the brain chemistry, trying to understand what's going on and the underlying cause of depression, anxiety, fatigue. And we often order the neuroadrenal panel together so that we can see what's going on with your adrenal glands, which is your stress management gland. So this test looks at urine to test your neurotransmitters, and it looks at your saliva to test your adrenals. So let's talk about it. So it may look like a lot, and in fact, it is quite a lot of materials, but you will be sent home by your doctor with this kit. So when you go home, I advise to open up the kit, take a look at everything, and read the instructions right when you get home. That way you know what your prep needs to be before you plan to collect your samples. So I've already opened the box and I've laid everything out so that we can go through it together. So you're gonna have a couple of pieces of paper in your kit. The first one is the collection instructions. So this is gonna give you the outline of absolutely everything that you need to think about before you collect your samples. So first things first, what day do you collect? It's important to collect on a regular day so that we can understand if you're feeling stressed, what's going on with your hormones and your neurotransmitters at the time. If you are female and you're menstruating, it's best to wait until your menses is over so that we don't have any contamination in the urine sample. If you're taking hormones, hormones can affect the test, so please have a look at the chart here for any adjustments to the day that you'll test if you're on hormones. Okay, so you've chosen the day that you test. Now you need to prep for what you're going to do during that day. So it's a little bit of prep and oftentimes you start collecting in the morning for many of the tests that we give and this one as well. So for eight hours, you're most likely going to be sleeping. So that's okay. And eight hours before the test, you're not going to be chewing gum, brushing your teeth, eating or drinking, smoking any tobacco, exercising, or taking medications or supplements. If you are on pharmaceutical medications, it's important you talk to your doctor about those because some you may need to continue to take during this collection time, which is absolutely okay. Okay, so you've read that material over. It's eight hours before your urine collection and one hour before each saliva. So this is something to keep in mind because your saliva is gonna be collected multiple times throughout the day. The urine's pretty easy, it's the morning, but the saliva is all day. So have a look at these each time you collect. So, let's start with what you're going to do first. First thing in the morning, we want to look at your cortisol levels when you wake up. This is how you get out of bed in the morning, so it gives you energy, and so we want to see what's going on first thing in the morning with your cortisol. So, here's a little bit about the method. You're going to be collecting saliva into a saliva tube, and you use paraffin wax to generate saliva. So you actually open this paraffin wax and you chew the wax, which, why not? It's not bad. It actually doesn't taste like anything. And um, it really helps you generate saliva. So once you've been chewing the paraffin wax for a while, you then can start collecting saliva. You wanna collect five milliliters of saliva, okay? Excuse me. Okay, so you've collected your saliva. Very, very important step is to record the time that you collected. Your doctor will assess your cortisol levels based on how they change throughout the day. So we need to know which sample is collected when. So you label your tube, cover it up, and stick it in the fridge. So that's sample one. Now, the next thing you're going to do is collect your second morning urine. And if you look, the second morning urine, that's on this side, is two hours after you wake up. So that's very important, okay? So second morning urine, it's collected into this tiny little um, salad dressing cup in the midstream, very important. And then once you've collected uh, enough urine, you're going to use this pipette to transfer the urine into your urine collection tubes, which you're also going to be labeling. Important to keep the color of the cap in line with the color of your sticker, all right? And the urine can then be stored in the refrigerator for the remainder of the day. Okay, so as the day goes, you're going to be collecting your other three saliva samples. 
So you have to adjust your schedule just a little bit in order to be able to collect the samples because for one hour before each collection, you're not gonna be eating or drinking anything, not exercising. And so one thing I didn't mention actually that I wanna remind you about, before each collection, take a sip of water, rinse your mouth out and spit it out. That kind of gets some extra skin cells out of there so that they don't cloud the sample. And that's it. Once all of the samples are in the refrigerator and you're ready to ship them, you can ship the next day. You, you sort of wrap each sample in this absorbent pad and put it back in its respective Ziploc, and then you ship it out. It goes into the box, very simple. The lab provides a shipping label, so you put that on the outside of the box, and you can drop it off. This is UPS, so you can drop it off at any UPS store. So we thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it's helpful, and if you have questions, please feel free to call us, and I look forward to seeing the results of your neuroadrenal panels. Have a great day. Okay, I want to do a close-up of all of the materials in your neuroadrenal kit so that you don't get confused at all. So let's start with the paperwork. You have your requisition form. This is filled out mostly by your doctor on the day of order, and this is going to be sent home with you. Your doctor will fill out your diagnosis codes and sign the requisition form at the top. You are responsible for filling out everything that has been highlighted on this form. So if you're not in New York, which most of our patients are not, you'll check no. Fill out your personal information, some information about your menstrual cycle if you are a lady, and then come down to the payment section. So the payment is clearly written on the form here. You're gonna check cash, and you can write your credit card number and information or send a check with the kit. The other thing that's very important is that you note the date and time you collected all of your salivas and your urine. This will help us when we're assessing the kit. Very important to note what time you wake up because it helps to understand the results in more detail. Here's your collection instructions. This outlines everything, gives you photos, really easy to understand. This is the saliva section, and then here's your urine section. Really, really easy and, and laid out for you. Here are the saliva tubes and your paraffin wax with all of your labels. Really important part of this is labeling urine tubes, urine collection cup, pipette, and labels. These are the absorbent pads that get wrapped around the tubes and put into the bag. And here's your shipping label. Shipping label goes right over the top of the box, right before shipping. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching and good luck collecting your kits. Have a great day.